Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, right off the bat with after coming back from Memorial Day and from the Memorial Weekend, I hope everybody was doing well. I wanted to give you guys just a couple of videos and one of them in particular, I wanted to go over how to keep your jailbreak from under from on being from being unrevoked. So pretty much what's, um, what I'm trying to get at is that there have been times where your device may shut off, uh, you may lose battery power, and you lose your jailbreak. Well, when you restart your device and you hit that jailbreak application or you hit the uncovered app, it just doesn't work. For whatever reason, it becomes unverified and you don't get the opportunity to re-jailbreak as you would. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick with a couple of applications and with a couple of tweaks and with a couple of sources, how you can go ahead and make sure that your application or your uncovered jailbreak app sticks. That way, if there's ever a case where it becomes unrevoked or it becomes unsigned and not unrevoked, but becomes unsigned and maybe you shut off your device and turned it back on and you're not able to access your uncovered jailbreak application and you don't have a computer at handy, this is going to save you from that. So but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into everything. Now, first and foremost, let's go ahead and navigate over into Cydia. So you do need to be on a jailbroken device first and foremost, because there's a couple of repos that we do need to install, and then there are a couple of tweaks that we do need to get. So if you haven't checked out my video on how to jailbreak iOS 13.5, links will be in the description down below. So make sure you guys do check that out. Come back, and then let's go ahead and add up these two tweaks. Now, these tweaks, I'm gonna go ahead, these, uh, first and foremost, these repos, I'm gonna actually put them in the description down below. All you'll need to do is just click on the repo, and it'll automatically redirect you over to Cydia for you to install. You won't have to worry about editing or adding them, but what I'm gonna do for those that don't do that and just wanna edit and add them um, you know, automatically, you can go ahead and hit over to sources, hit edit, add, and you're gonna type in cydia.akemi.ai backslash. And that is to the Karen's repo. So this is gonna be for AppSync. This is an AppSync repo. AppSync, you're gonna to need to use that alongside with reprovision. They go hand in hand when it comes to making sure that your uncovered jailbreak application sticks. So with the reprovision repo, we're gonna use repo, we're gonna hit add, and we are gonna hit repo.incendo.ws backslash. So with this, let's go ahead and go over into done. And the first one, Karen's repo, let's go ahead and hit all packages. Now from all packages, we're gonna hit AppSync Unified and we are going to install, but we're gonna queue this one for right now. So it's in our queue. Let's go back to all packages and then back to sources. And then we're going to go into the reprovision repo. So reprovision is down right here. We're going to go ahead and it does say this package is not yet confirmed to work on iOS 13.3. This has been tested and it has been confirmed to work on iOS 13.5. So don't be afraid. Go ahead and hit modify if you need to, and then go ahead and hit install. And then it shows that we're gonna install AppSync and Reprovision. We're gonna hit confirm, and we're gonna go ahead and let that add both Reprovision and AppSync to our iDevice. So we're gonna hit restart Springboard. And I apologize for the many of fingerprints that you see on my iPad. I will clean that off. And let's go ahead and scroll up. We're gonna type in our passcode real quick. Perfect, and you should see that reprovision is on your device here. So let's go ahead and tap on that. Now, what you can do is go ahead and hit dismiss, and we're gonna sign in with our Apple ID. So let's go ahead and sign in. So it's gonna hit storing information. You're gonna see that it just finished. It signed successfully, so we're gonna hit done. And there we go, there we have it. So. On this section here, there are some settings that you want to make sure that you do troubleshoot. So when you are under the settings, you wanna make sure that under automated re-signing, that you do click under, instead of two days left, I would honestly recommend hitting six days left. And then going back under settings, let's go ahead and see if there's anything, and if there's any errors. There have been some problems, or people have been finding that there have been errors, or they've been seeing errors when it comes to reprovision. If you run into an error where uh, you do need to delete some of the, um, 
the actual certificates or the actual your actual um uh, yeah, your actual certificates, you can do so from there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually show you real quick. If we troubleshoot, we can manage our certificates. And sometimes these certificates do need to be uh, removed. That way, reprovision can work. So if you do run into a problem or an error where it talks about certificates or managing certificates, this is what it's talking about. Go under troubleshoot, delete your certificate, and then come back. That's the, one of the errors that I saw, but I haven't seen anything else after that. Now, if anything does come up, I will make sure that I do leave a video or I do leave some sort of, um, I'll leave a side note in the description down below showing you guys how to get rid of any of those errors too. But at the moment, if you do run into an issue where you have too many certificates on your device, go ahead and delete them and then come back to it. Now, how this works in the first place is that, of course, the applications are currently signed. So we have this one right here. It looks like it's going to expire on March 31st. We're going to make sure that we add that. So what is what it's saying that this will remove the current certificate of and cover and it replaces it with a new certificate from my Apple ID. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to hit continue. Perfect. So it says, ah, there we go. Maximum number of certificates generated. So let's go ahead and hit troubleshoot, manage certificates. We're going to hit device alt store. We're going to remove that. Let's go ahead and hit back. And then back, let's go back to install. Let's go ahead and hit uncover one more time, hit add. Hit continue. Perfect. And from doing that, we it says success, it's signed uncovered. So perfect. So now we're officially under reprovision. So again, if you do run into that issue where there's too many certificates, it does say free accounts, get up to two, two certificates. What I did is it, there it goes. And as you can see, it revoked as, as I hit the revoke for the previous certificate, it didn't look like it deleted for a moment. If that happens to you, just jump out of the troubleshooting area, then come back into it, and you should see that your your uh, reprovision will see, it will actually delete that other certificate. So just jump out, jump back in, and it refreshes itself. No big deal. Go ahead and jump, jump on back. Go ahead and hit, go to install, and as you can see here, we're currently installed with Uncovered, and now that it's signed to my Apple ID and not just some sort of cert, Reprovision will continuously over and over and over re-sign re this application. That way I will never lose it. So make sure that you guys do get this installed onto your device ASAP. It is very, very necessary, especially for those that don't have a computer at the moment and you may have been lucky enough just to download the application via you know, App Valley or App Cake. This is the best way of keeping that uncovered jailbreak application on your device without losing it at all. So please go ahead and uh, again, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about the application, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to assist you guys with that. And if, without further ado, I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' day. Please, again, if you like all these videos, please make sure to check out the rest of my videos on all things Apple Plus and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.